Look at me becoming a runner. <laughs> I actually did it and I did it without stopping. Progress, baby! Happy to be trying something different. What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for this video today. <laughs> it's just weird. It's so weird because I'm running. <laughs> but I am running. I've been running for the past six months and I just ran my first 5K. Now, I know maybe it just seems quite silly, especially if you're randomly clicking in this video, like, girl, she really making a video talking about running a 5K? Like, that's just so basic. She's so basic. Yes, I'm proud. I ran a 5K. I am celebrating my wins. Y'all already know all about that. And this is a major win for me. I have picked up the Couch to 5K program so many different times trying to, trying to challenge myself to run and it never stuck. Hey guys, so I did my run much later than I was anticipating. <laughs> I am not a runner. I am not a runner. And I was just like, this isn't for me. Running isn't for me. I don't like it. I never will. With my struggles, with weight loss, with my size, the fact, I mean, I had asthma as a kid. I struggled as an asthmatic child. So when I say I never envisioned that I'd be sitting in front of a camera talking about I ran my first 5K and I'm planning for a 10K, trust you can believe that that that's the truth i'm proud and i'm here to talk to you guys about it because i just had my first run this past weekend and i can't wait to continue on with my running training i'm really excited to try this we'll start this app and we'll just see what it is we finished the first run i look ridiculous but i feel like this is how you have to look as a runner kind of ridiculous you know you always wear them mismatchy highlighter shoes <laughs> This is the longest I've ever kept up with running. I tried to start Couch to 5K maybe two or three times in the past just because I always wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to get movement in and I wanted to lose weight. Um, and running is a cost effective way to get an exercise. You know, walk outside your front door and bam, go running. And so there were many times I tried to pick it up, but I just could never stick with it. And the main difference I think between those times and this time and why I stuck with it was that I was able to kind of temper my expectations. I'm such a slow runner, but <laughs> I had done like a lot of reading up on it and people are like, the point is to be able to, you know, jog straight for 30 minutes by the end of it. Speed is something you can work on later. I was a really slow jog, <laughs> really, really slow, but I made it through, but this is week one, day one. I watched some videos, I read some articles, I understood why running was beneficial to the body and also that I didn't need to hit the gate hard. And I think knowing that was key. Knowing that my little jog, my little grandma pitter patter, that was a run and that's what I needed to do just, just to get started. So if you were like me, if you stop yourself cause you're like, I can't run or I, this is too slow, it's not a run, I need to be hitting the gate, I need to be bam, bam, bam. You don't. When it comes to exercise and movement, all you wanna focus on is finding the sweet spot between, okay, I can do it, but it's still a little challenging so that way my body, my muscles, everything can adapt and still grow. And for every single one of us, that is going to look different. For some of us, your running journey might start by walking. For me, it started with some walking and I was gonna say jogging, but it's more like speed walking. <laughs> I'm officially on week two. So this was the first time where I was like, I'm ready to stop. <laughs> week two, we're doing 90 seconds jogging and two minute walking. And you do it over and over, over. you do that over and over and over. Um, for about 30 minutes. You really don't need to kill yourself when you're running. Now it's different when we're lifting weights. You wanna be training at an intensity level with the last few reps, you know, you're about to fail. But with running, it's not like that at all. So where your journey starts as a runner, it's going to be wildly different than anyone else. Start at a place to where it's manageable, you can do it, but you can push yourself just a little bit so your body can start adapting and seeing the changes that it needs. This is the start of week three. But this run, I'm like, oh my God, like they don't bumped it up. There's a three minute run straight. Three minutes straight. 
So I'm a little worried, I'm a little excited. Anyway, just wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. One of the main things that really interested me in attempting to run again was learning how great it is for your heart health. I've been working out for a while now. I'm losing weight. I'm getting strong. Like I am the fittest version of myself today than I've ever been so far. And learning that running could really help with my cardiovascular health, with making my heart, my lungs, my body just more efficient, with pumping blood through my body, having a lower resting heart rate. Like knowing that this could greatly increase my heart health was one of the main things I was like, you know what, let's look into running. Week four day one. Managed to redo week three, change up my running form so that way it's a bit better. There was no pain at all, no soreness while running. So I'm feeling confident to do week four and to go on this longer run. Every time I run, it looks like I'm doing about a 14 minute mile. When it comes to working out, that's key is making sure I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying running and I enjoy a slow pace. It's peaceful. One of the first hurdles during my Couch to 5K journey was I think hitting the five minute run. Every week with running, you're meant to push yourself a little further, a little further. And it starts getting to a point where you're like, yo, I don't, I don't know about this. I think I'm hitting my wall. Got it. Just finished. So we at beautiful morning for our, our run. Got it. Oh, finish. Oh, I did it. I am a runner at this point. I've been running for like two months now. 13. Woo. Yeah, I actually did that. What I love about running is how you're faced with so much doubt thinking I don't have this in me. And then you're able to push past that point and pull it off. And every single time that I came up to what I perceived to be my limit, my body showed me like, no, we got this. And I was constantly surprising myself. Oh my God, that was crazy. Surprisingly, it wasn't even that difficult. <clears throat> That's a good run. With week five, I think I might redo it several times. So I just want my body, I just want to, be smarter about it. I don't want to be too aggressive. I want my body to like slowly acclimate all the tendons and everything to slowly acclimate. I'm keeping my joints safe and I can keep this up for a long time. So I'm really proud of myself. Running is great. It's just fantastic. The runner's high, the mental endorphins, the mental strength and wherewithal. Knowing that you pushed yourself, that you accomplished something you didn't think you could. Like, I've absolutely loved my Couch to 5K journey because I seriously thought I'd never be a 5K runner. And the fact that I've not only enjoyed this, but that I'm now looking to start training for a 10K, it's just, the sky's the limit. I'm just happy I did it. 15 minute run straight. I just did 25 minutes. A 25 minute run straight. This is crazy. We're out for a run. We're out for the run, okay? A 20 minute run. A significant marker of progress. Like 20 minute run straight. Even if it's slow, which it is, it's still 20 minutes. Like I'm getting just so close to doing this 5K. 28 minute run straight. That doesn't that doesn't seem bad at all. Oh. <laughs> like, because every time I did the 25 minute ones, I still got it in me, you know? So I'm like, an extra three minutes? I could do that. We got that. We <laughs> you just never know what you're capable of and what you're going to enjoy unless you give it a try. I signed up to run the 5K when I still had about two weeks left in my couch to 5K program. But I was feeling really comfortable, the runs were pretty easy, and I knew I can run for 30 minutes. Last week of couch to 5K, I'm like excited. <laughs> Running for 30 minutes, I'll put it on the screen. It's the last week, I only have a couple more runs after this. So I actually signed up to run my first 5K, you guys. <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> I just went out for 30 minutes straight for the first time in my life. 
I signed up for the 5k with the idea in mind that I was just going to finish the couch to 5k and continually run 5ks and, and just try to improve my pace so that when race day came I could really try to aim for a PB. Couch to 5k the last day! I really wonder how much longer it's gonna take me to do 30 minutes. Oh, not 30 minutes, an actual 5k. Cause yeah, my plan is to just run until I hit that 3.1 miles. So let's do it. So before race day, I also ended up signing up to do the Gymshark Run Club. They run every Tuesday here in London on Regent Street. And I was like, let me, let me try it. Cause this whole time I've been running alone, running by myself, just solo dolo, you know, me and my headphones. I'm getting ready to go to my first running club. Oh my God. Don't you notice how I get quiet when there's no one else around? The run club was so much fun. There was so much energy. There was, it was Halloween, so people were dressed up. And I, I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, but I also learned a lot of things from that run. For one, running with people, as fun as it is, the energy is kind of contagious. And you kind of get swept up in it all. So I ended up not running my normal pace, pushing past it, and then I burnt out around mile two. And I actually had to stop and walk. Now that's never happened to me during my Couch to 5K journey. Like for me, the goal was always, let me run my allotted time. And when I had worked up to running for 30 minutes straight, I said, okay, cool, I could run for 30 minutes without stopping, I'm gonna do that all the time. So I tried to do that with the Gymshark run, but the competitor in me came out, the energy and vibes were there, and I way overshot my pace and <laughs> ended up getting a cramp. I had to walk, I had to catch my breath. And honestly, by the time I finished the Gymshark race, it was, it was the slowest time I had finished a 5K race. So that experience showed me a lot. It was a lot of fun. I'm going back. I actually plan to do that run every Tuesday now. And I'm also looking into joining other running clubs to meet other runners. And it just really prepared me for what race day would kind of be like and how I need to be smarter about my approach. I feel it a little, I don't know why, a little like nervous. I don't know why. I think it's just the excitement, you know, like, I'm for the race! All I'm hoping to do today is to aim for a personal best. You know what sucks? I found out you can't wear headphones. It's probably best that you can't wear headphones, but I just, I'm afraid of getting swept up in the commotion and like, you know, I did a Gymshark fun run and I'm so happy I did that just to have an experience of like being in a race, you know, with people. So I know what not to do. During the Gymshark run, I got so caught up. I started off really strong, faster than I ever have. I didn't even notice until I was like, man, I'm feeling tired. I looked at my watch, it said I was going a 12 minute mile. I was like, whoa, I've never done a 12 minute. So it's all about pacing ourselves for the first two miles. And then, last mile. We'll push it. Race day went so well. It went exactly according to plan. I stayed with a good pace, and in fact, it was a quicker pace than normal, but it was still easy for me to maintain and to keep at like a zone one level during the run, and so that's what I did. And then when I had about a half of a mile left, I tried to push myself just a little bit more, um, just to, you know, try to do even better. And yeah. It, it just went so well. I'm very, very happy with the time that I got. I know it's gonna improve. The slimmer that I get, the more that I continue to run, especially even training just to do longer distances because I do want to be aiming for a 10K. Feeling good. It's a nice morning. I'm at the bus stop. Um, I had some strawberries and the oat biscuit and I got this for energy. Honestly, I probably could have just taken some pre-workout, but I was like, you know what? This looks good. Let's get it. I got it last night. I was like, yeah, this is how we gonna fuel ourselves for our run. Ooh, it is cold. I haven't been running in the mornings, so this is gonna be new. I'm wearing a shirt under this sweater. I'm wondering if it's gonna be too much, but it's cold, so we'll see.
our paces, as quick as it's been, it's only about point, I guess six miles left. So I'm gonna try to pick it up. My watch says I did it, but I might have missed the turn. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm low-key upset. I kept running around 3.3 miles and I'm like, okay, finally ran to someone who works for the race. And yeah, I passed the exit. So he told me to walk back. I did it in my fastest time, so I'm happy. This sucks. <laughs> but I'm very happy with my 5K race time. A 12 minute, 35 second pace, finishing it in under 40 minutes, like no complaints, no complaints at all. I am excited to see what's gonna happen in the future, especially as I continue to run, but it was just so much fun and it's just so rewarding doing something I didn't ever really think I was capable of. This is what I love about fitness, right? In so many different aspects. You think something looks impossible or that your body wasn't made for it, that your body wasn't built for it, that that's for other people and not for you. But all you have to do is take the first step and try and your body will adapt. Your breathing will adapt. Your heart, these things will adapt and change and grow with you. And you really just become so much more confident in trusting in yourself and your ability to overcome anything that comes your way. That's the kind of mental strength and mental fortitude that exercise gets you, you know? teaches you perseverance, teaches you endurance, determination, and it teaches you that, you know what, if you have a plan and you stick to it, you'll get where you wanna go. You can achieve anything if you take it one step at a time. Oh, I just love this. I love this life. I love everything that fitness and health has done for me, how it's changed my life, and how it can change your life. Like, I know it's only a 5K, but Yo, it's a 5K, all right? I ran 3.1 miles straight. I'm running six miles a week currently, and we still gonna be bumping it up to 10, okay? Okay! <laughs> but no, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a like, make sure you're subscribed. Can't wait to see you in the next one. And put on them running shoes. Put on them running shoes. Or your boxing gloves, or you know, your jump ropes, or Whatever your choice of physical activity is, like just grab that thing and put in work.